What's up you guys, Gage here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to shiny hunt Darkrai and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So, the first and most important thing I need to mention here is you can only obtain the event item that you need to unlock Darkrai between April 1st and April 30th, 2022. So, if that date is already passed and you did not claim the item, unfortunately, you will not be able to hunt Darkrai right now. It's possible that they will redistribute the event item later. I don't know if they will or not. Or if you have a hacked switch, you might possibly be able to figure out a way to get the item into your game somehow. But you will need to do this during the event period if you do not plan on hacking. Step number two, you must complete the Elite Four and the Champion. You gotta beat the game just just like with Arceus and Shaman. Step number three, you're going to want to head to Jubilife City, make your way to the TV station if you do not already have the mystery gift item unlocked. Okay, so go ahead and make your way to the third floor and head over to this NPC over here. He's going to have some dialogue for you to go through. Go ahead and click yes. And he's going to have a weird option towards the bottom here called like Wi-Fi connection. Everybody happy. If you click that, you will go ahead and unlock the mystery gift option in your menu. I've already done that. So the option is no longer there for me. All right. So once you've got ahead and unlocked the mystery gift option, go ahead and click that. Click get via internet. And it's going to search for the gift, which I already claimed because this is the second take for this video. So my bad guys, but you will see the members item gift right there. Go ahead and claim that. All right. So once you've gone ahead and obtained the members card item, go ahead and make your way to Kanalave or Kanalave City, which is the city all the way to the left over here. I've already flown here, so we are good to go. Now go ahead and make your way across this bridge and you're going to want to come down here and talk to this sailor. So this part may or may not be different for you, depending on how much of this game you've actually played. Um, but for me, I have not caught Cresselia yet. So this is what most of you guys are probably going to see. Talk to this sailor. He's going to basically tell you that his son is fallen into some deep nightmare and he needs uh, Cresselia's lunar feather to wake him up. So he's going to ask you to go to Full Moon Island and get the feather for him. So he's going to take us there and then you've got to make your way over to Cresselia who should be hiding back here. Okay, so quick side note, if you ever plan on shiny hunting Cresselia in this game, uh, you're gonna wanna stop right here and I guess do that before you do the Darkrai hunt because uh, Cresselia's shininess is determined uh, the very first time that you interact with it. So uh, essentially, if you wanted to hunt Cresselia, you would talk to it right here. Um, it would jump into some random spot in the map, then you gotta go track it down and then encounter it to see if it's shiny. If it's not shiny, uh, then restart right here and then yeah, that's that's kind of how that hunt works. So if you want to hunt Cresselia, um, I would probably wait on the Darkrai, uh, but you do have the key item now at this point, so you should be good to go uh, when you do decide to hunt Darkrai in the future. But for those of you guys that just want to make your way to Darkrai, let's go ahead and talk to Cresselia. Cresselia is just going to dip. However, Cresselia is going to leave behind that beautiful lunar feather. So go ahead and pick that up and it's going to go add it to your key items pocket in the bag. Uh, let's go ahead and make our way back to the sailor and he's gonna bring us back to kind of levy city and we're going to basically go wake his son up from the nightmare all right so go ahead and head inside the sailor's house which is directly next to him then come up and talk to the little boy who is having the nightmare the feather will begin to glow and then the boy wakes up all right so after waking up the sailor's son from the nightmare go ahead and make your way back across the bridge and head up to this building directly to the north of the pokemon center uh, which now should be unlocked go ahead and walk in there you're using your members card as the key Guess you're gonna catch some quick Z's. And then I guess you just wake up on New Moon Island. That's exactly how it works. I totally knew that before making this video. And make your way into this little forest hideaway. And there we see Darkrai is here waiting for us to shiny hunt him. So now you're probably wondering which method is faster for Darkrai. Well, I don't know. I just got here, so let's test it. <laughs> All right, so it looks like each runaway is going to take about 1 minute and 20 seconds, which is uh, quite a lot. Let's see how long these soft resets take. And it looks like the soft reset time is about... 50 seconds give or take 50 51 seconds so the obvious winner by about 30 seconds is going to be soft resetting for this method so if you plan on shiny hunting dark cry just go ahead and save in front of it and do your soft resets and one final note before I end the video, Darkrai's moveset is Foul Play, Hypnosis, Sucker Punch, and Double Team, leaving him with 55 possible turns uh, before he starts to struggle. So keep that in mind, guys, while you do try to catch it. Um, you do not want to have this thing struggle to death. Make sure you come prepared. Yeah, and on that note, guys, I wish you all the best of luck on hunting your own Darkrai. If you want to come watch me hunt mine, I stream on YouTube Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Central Time. So feel free to stop in these streams. I will be streaming Darkrai until we find the shiny, obviously. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video if it helped you please do consider hitting that like button and also please subscribe it really really does mean the world to me but anyway guys i will see you in the next one adios and i'll see you guys next time